Storm Track 7 forecast. Good evening, I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. We are now expecting our next significant winter storm to push in for tomorrow morning and it will continue through Tuesday morning. In the meantime, for tonight, we're tracking partly to mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures on the cool side dropping into the upper single digits and uh, getting into the teens. Wind chill certainly in the single digits as well. But again, things get pretty active heading into Monday morning and especially Monday afternoon. Here's that winter storm warning in the pink here for much of our southern counties, including Dubuque County as well. And then for the northern extent of the storm, a winter weather advisory for Grundy, Blackhawk, Buchanan, and Delaware County. Uh, north of Highway 20, not a whole lot is going to happen. It's going to be a really sharp cutoff with that snowfall, but we'll get into that here in a second. Let's talk about future track. Again, we're seeing partly cloudy skies for this evening. Cloud cover will try to roll back in late tonight to give us mostly cloudy skies, but in the north, perhaps a little more clearing, and that's going to result in some cooler temperatures the further north you go. Then for tomorrow, I think the morning commute is fine, but here's that snow pushing in by the late morning and early afternoon coming in from south to north. And for the afternoon, very heavy snowfall possible at times here, especially for areas along and south of Highway 20. Uh, that heavy snow will continue through the evening commute and through the first half of tomorrow night. It will start to lighten throughout the overnight hours. Here's midnight, technically Tuesday morning. And so you see the snowfall kind of breaking up just a little bit. So heading into Tuesday morning, becoming much lighter, but still some lingering isolated snow showers. That will continue through noon on Tuesday, and then everything pushes out for the afternoon as cloud cover remains in place. So as far as totals go, here's what we're looking at. 6 to 10 inches, most likely from about Highway 30, including places like Monticello, Cedar Rapids, and Tama, and area south. Now an isolated 12 inch amount will be possible here in the circled area for places like Iowa City and Washington, but generally 6 to 10 inches. It's going to be a really sharp gradient the further north you go. 3 to 6 still expected for places like Dubuque and areas along Highway 20 towards Waterloo. I think Waterloo probably going to come in close to about 3 inches. Tama, you're probably looking at about 6 there. And Dubuque, probably on the higher side of the 3 to 6. And north of Highway 20, trace to 3 inches, but it's going to be a super sharp cutoff. So uh, really, places north of Highway 20 might not see a whole lot of snow with the system, uh, depending on the track of this. And as far as the winds go, it's going to get really windy. Wind gusts tomorrow afternoon, 30 to 35 miles per hour. Sustained winds between 15 and 25 miles per hour. That's going to blow the snow around, which should be a fairly dry snow. It's going to reduce visibility to almost nothing. Whiteout conditions will be possible. And so travel is just going to be very, very hazardous for really tomorrow afternoon all the way through Tuesday morning. So try to postpone travel if you can. Now, as far as tonight goes, temperatures will be down into the upper single digits in the north. Otherwise, teens for most of us and even the low 20s further off to the south for Iowa City and Washington. We'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies and a east northeast wind 5 to 15 miles per hour. Here is tomorrow. A heavy snow becomes likely into the afternoon and we will see our high temperatures ranging from the low 20s north to the low 30s south. And again, that wind will be a problem as well, creating whiteout conditions and very difficult travel. City by city forecast is going to show that snow lingering into Tuesday morning, otherwise mostly cloudy skies for Tuesday. Temperatures low to mid 20s and Wednesday another chance for some light snow, but that should not be a big snowfall maker. Just a few flakes flying for Wednesday. 10 day forecast will show a much nicer forecast after that. Sunshine for Thursday and Friday. Temperature is still cold on Thursday, low 20s for highs, and we'll start the day there with temperatures right around zero. Otherwise, Friday, partly sunny. We're back to the 30s. Even a chance for rain on Saturday as the winds pick up and we get the mild air in place. We'll see that transitioning over to some light snow by Sunday. More sunshine Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures back into the 30s and a chance for a wintry mix to close out the 10-day forecast on Wednesday.